and people are certainly eager to get power back and are showing their appreciation when that happens. We've had applause before. Rolling last night, we had a lot of people applying and very happy. On one street in Guilford, the problem was more than just no power. A tree was blocking the street, giving residents no way in and no way out. But as WMUR's Amy Cavino reports, help arrived today. We're on Locks Hill Road in Guilford. Just a handful of residents live here year round, but for the past three days, they've been trapped by a giant evergreen blocking the only way out. Thank you! <laughs> Rejoicing on Locks Hill Road Saturday when the power came back and the road reopened. Since Wednesday night, it's looked like this. So, Wednesday night, we've been trapped here. Trapped? Literally, yeah. No, I mean, people have to meet us at the bottom of the hill and we have to walk under the tree to, to get out. The what ifs weighing heavily on the minds of Locks Hill Road residents. If we had a fire, somebody's house caught fire, generators, anything else, um, we, no, fire department can't get here. Our house would be burnt down. Help arrived just before noon Saturday. A line crew from Connecticut and a tree crew bringing twice the relief to Locks Hill Road. Ryan Chase can count on one hand how many hours he's slept, and his house is out of power too. It's rough, but it's work. I mean, it, every, someone's got to do it. You know, if if, we, if it wasn't us, it'd be someone else. So. It's best to kind of get it out of the way and get everyone on back on the juice and get everyone up and running, get them all happy. Yay! The sound of relief and joy pinging across the street as power is restored. Lindsay and her husband were getting by with a small borrowed generator. We have some heat and electricity in two rooms because we can't turn on the entire switchboard because of the small generator. Lots of gratitude from residents around the state for those hardworking line crews and tree crews who are long on hours and short on sleep, getting everyone back on the grid just as soon as possible. In Guilford, Amy Cavino, WMUR News 9.